guys so a baby girl and i are just enjoying some breakfast you ate all your blueberries before i could even turn on the camera mm. i look like a bit of a hot mess the house is a bit of a situation pretty much today is gonna be like a chill day i'm gonna probably do like a face mask my under eyes have never been darker and yeah, we're gonna kind of fix this skin up a bit, clean up the house, like extreme clean. I'm probably going to need about four of these today. But yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our breakfast first. Yes. And then we'll catch you guys soon. All right, so it's a bit later during the day and I am about to do a face mask. And I thought I would pop this one on. It is a peel off mask, which is just kind of give me a really nice glow and help with my dry skin that is what it looks like welcome back to my channel so I'm just about to get ready for the day and I thought I would quickly hop on here and get ready with you guys I am gonna be attempting to try out a few new products so we're gonna see how that goes just gonna give my face a bit of a quick mist so I recently was sent a whole bunch of YSL goodies to try out and today I'm going to be trying out the Fusion Ink Cushion Foundation so this is what the little sample looks like it is covering quite well medium finish like a medium coverage foundation so I think I'm liking how that is looking we're gonna go ahead and quickly do a bit of concealer and some powder if you guys watched my one brand makeup revolution video but definitely my current favorite combination and kind of like my everyday makeup routine has been the concealer with the powder I'm gonna quickly go in with some powder I have been loving this powder all over as well so I will do kind of like a light dust on my under eyes just going in with a bit of bronzer my current favorite combination is the same as always the Stila light all day bronzer And then just for a bit of definition, I'm going with uh, Hula by Benefit. Just gonna do a bit of highlights today. I'm gonna go in with Opal by Becca, which as you can see, I have clearly hit pan on. So clearly my eyebrows are in desperate need of a wax, so I'm not going to do anything to them but just run a bit of my Maybelline Brow Drama. Really love this one because it kind of just keeps all the like stray hairs in place without adding too much like definition. I'm just going to go in with a bit more blush because I feel like I'm losing a bit of colour. I've been loving using the Revolution Eyeshadow Palette, the blush that I use in the video that I did with the one brand so it is like this peachy color up here I'm just gonna do a light coat of mascara so that's my makeup done as always I always leave my lips to like when I'm in the car just because I do want to finish off my coffee also what do you guys think of my nails I haven't had red nails in the longest time and I'm still kind of trying to get used to them nails in general like acrylics I haven't had I think since before baby girl was born like and how it looks Good morning guys, hope you've all been very well. 
I am starting my morning with a bit of facial rolling today. Ignore the state of my lips. I always pick at dry skin on my lips and then I get the worst problem area there. Do you guys have any like tips? I have tried everything and nothing seems to ever work for me. I know it's like really gross and I just have to kind of like force myself to just like ignore it and just forget about it. Okay, so all done. Now time for my morning coffee. I am about to kind of go through and <laughs> sort all my makeup so it's gonna be like a deep makeup kind of purge and just gonna sort it all out <laughs> get rid of kind of what's not needed and hopefully organize it so it fits into the trays that I have baby girl is of course joining me today always needs something in her mouth so yeah, I am about to kind of flip the camera over just so you guys can see what is going on and hopefully we're gonna just organize and sort through all of my kind of like beauty makeup products. So I really don't know where to start. I think I'll start with like the lip products just because I know they're gonna be the easiest. So I have had these compartments for quite a while from Daiso. They are the perfect size to fit in the Ikea drawers and I'm pretty sure three side by side fit in one drawer. Just in this one that I have emptied out, I'm going to go ahead and put back in any of my like liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. So I think the best way is just for me to empty out one by one. Alright guys, so I just thought I would give you like a quick overview. I am still kind of going through and organizing, but for the most part, I have kind of categorized it starting from kind of the first thing I would do all the way through to like lipstick and stuff. So yeah, we've got like primers, brow products, setting sprays, concealers. I'm thinking of adding another tray. I do have some spare compartments so i'm going to add some in foundations uh powders this one i'm still kind of organizing through my makeup so over there and then i've got here as well so i am still sorting through them and then this i definitely need to figure out a better kind of storage system for it but these are all my kind of like eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes and then these are all the kind of like face palettes and stuff like that 
And then just in the last two drawers, so I've just got eyeliner, eye products, single shadows, and then lips. And then these are all my kind of like lip products. And then I do also have this area. So this is kind of where I do want to organize like my everyday makeup. So I do need to go through like these bags and empty them all out. But then this drawer is also empty. So I am hoping to kind of organize my everyday makeup in here. But yeah, that is pretty much it from me. I will speak to you guys soon. All right, so I'm about to start making dinner and tonight we're going to be having butter chicken. I usually will have a jar of this on hand just for like a quick, easy weeknight recipes. So there isn't really a specific way that I do cut up the chicken. It's just in like small cube size bits. So even though I am using the jar, I still like to add in a few different spices. So I've just got your usual salt and pepper, and then I also do like to add in some paprika, a bit of curry powder, a bit of turmeric, and also a bit of cumin powder. 